Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Does anyone need a stapler? <laughs> One twenty-nine. Okay. Yeah. Here we are. So, gosh, it's it's early yet, and there's almost a full house here. Look at that. So. Psalm 29, a song of victory over Zion's enemies, a song of ascents. May a time, many a time, they have afflicted me from my youth. Let Israel now say, many a time they've afflicted me from my youth, yet they have not prevailed against me. The powers plowed on my back, and they made their furrows long. The Lord is righteous. He has cut in pieces the cords of the wicked, let all those who hate Zion be put to shame and turned back. Let them be as the grass on the hilltops, housetops, which wither before it grows up, with uh, which the reaper does not fill his hand, nor he who binds sheaths in his arms. Neither let those who pass by them say, The blessings of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Well, what a great segue into what I'm bringing up today for the opening. Um, the uh, the world is a mess, and anyone who wants to argue that fact, what? Yeah, so I have one here, oblivious to reality. <laughs> I know that was sarcasm. It's all boiled down to uh, good versus evil, and I've said this from this seat opening for years now, but the divide between the two camps is extremely wide now, and probably going to get even wider. We have guidance and prophecy from the Bible to keep us aware, alert, and well apprised of what will and how it will all end. And as Charlie brought up in Bible study this past Thursday, the same crowd that supports the terrorists is also the same group that thinks babies in the womb are not human beings, that the population needs to be thinned, that the freedoms of capitalism need to be eliminated, that perversions are just fine, and that the family should be replaced by a bureau in the government. Uh, that wealth also needs to be redistributed. Each of these things are always for everybody else, but never for them. And evil, by definition, is the absence of any good. And that is what they want. Best quotation on the subject, which was also from Charlie on Thursday night, is they don't believe there is a God and they hate the God that they believe doesn't exist. So they hold on to this foolishness because God is the source of morals, and morals stand in the way of all their evil schemes. And if you think about it, the fact that they are so much energy of theirs that is spent denying that God exists at all, while holding such incredible levels of hate, only proves that God is very much alive and well, and they know it. From Luke 10, uh, verses uh, 25 through 28. Um, on one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus, and he said, Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? And he answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. So this is what they hate. And yes, it's the obvious hate for God, but all the more that they should have to love their neighbor as themselves. <laughs> know your enemy. They don't think like us. They don't want to think like us. And thank God they don't think like us. And their selfishness is what is most disgusting and will be their downfall. So now to the 500-pound gorilla in the middle of the room which is Israel and Hamas, good versus evil. Hamas and their sub supporters want to cease fire, a pause in the response to the mass murder that they perpetrated on innocent Israelis on October 7, 2023. It was the Sabbath and the beginning of a Shemini Atzeret and Shimchat, I can't say that uh, like a true Jew, but uh, of the Torah, which is followed immediately after the seven days of Sukkot which celebrates tabernacling, living as Israel did after leaving Egypt before entering the Promised Land. And we all tabernacle in our earthly bodies as we wait to be in the presence of God, which is truly the Promised Land. 
And Shemini Atzeret celebrates that while we are in these tabernacles, blessings are needed from God, followed by Simshat Torah, which is the reading through of the books of Moses. Hamas didn't attack uh, Israeli's army directly, but uh, defenseless citizens making a spectacle of butchering innocent life over the internet and in private messages to the victims, friends and family on their their phones that they had on them. So this is pure evil, and people are actually supporting this evil. The spokesman for Israel, uh, Israel Tal Henrich, said it best. He goes, they're still firing at us. And keep in mind, 9,000 rockets, 26 days after they massacred 1,400 Israelis and injured more than 5,500. So they're not going to, so we're not going to let them get away with it. They're going to pay for it because we can no longer live like that. It was a sneak attack of sheer brutality, and now they want to pause in the resulting warfare. I stand with Israel also. Facebook, Google, and MSM, and many large corporations are behaving like they never saw any of these atrocities and will ding you if you ever recite any of the atrocities and tag who the proper people are regarding those um, those atrocities. And that's fine, and it comes with no surprise, especially not to me. Uh, but uh, be aware of your surroundings and be prepared for emergencies, whatever they might be. Prayer. And this is our powerful tool that, for obvious reasons, the enemy will never use. And remember that they think God doesn't exist, and they're too busy hating him to pray. So, Lord, pray for Israel. Pray, pray that prophecy comes to fruition soon, just as all the other highly improbable prophecies that have already happened, all exactly as was written long ago. We pray for the safe and productive travels for Sergio and Rhoda as they're back in Israel. We pray that their several tasks are accomplished fully and without any problems. We pray for their support of the IDF. We pray for their safe return with Sergio's parents. We pray for Mark, a young deployed soldier from Sergio and Rhoda's old church in Israel. We pray for Mark's wife and three daughters who are strengthened, so they be strengthened during and comfort during this absence of their husband slash father. Pray for Yossi, who we all know from his walk to Jericho with Charlie and Sergio. And he's also on standby for um, call into service and may actually have been already. I'm not sure at this point in time. And we pray for his family and all the families of soldiers called to defend Israel. We pray that more and more realize that this is a conflict between good and evil. And we pray that more come to Jesus, the Messiah. The cost of his salvation is paid full, so just accept. And we praise Jesus for paying that price for each of us as we simply have to believe. And uh, there's no better day than today, if you haven't already believed. And Lord, we just pray this all in your son's holy name, Jesus. And um, as a parting thought here, I've said this a few times on the internet. I'm surprised I haven't been shot yet. But um, uh, the name devil is the word evil with a D in front of it. And sometimes that needs just a little Highlight. visual to like get it. So, Lord Jesus, just um, bless us today as we go into your word. Bless Israel as they hopefully will go into their word also and find uh, the subject matter of the entire Bible from beginning to end, which is uh, your son, Jesus, and uh, redemptive history only through him. And Lord, we, uh, we do um, just pray that uh, this good versus evil um, will quickly come to an end versus, uh, which is actually the way you have uh, prophesied it in your word. And may that um, come to pass soon. And we pray this in your son's holy name, Jesus. Amen. Amen.